Good morning, Fort McMurray, Wood Buffalo, and the rest of the world. You've tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre, and we're going to start this episode off the same way we start every episode off, with a moment of gratitude. I know that you could be doing a million other things with your time, and the fact that you spend it with us truly does mean the world to me, so thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. How's it going, you guys? It's Jake White, JJW, uh, coming at you from uh, Norrell Toyota in Fort McMurray. Uh, just wanted to say hi and come on down and check the place out. Hi, my name's Richard. I'm the service manager here at Norrell Toyota. Hi there, I'm Adam. Uh, I'm here at Norrell Toyota. I'm a product advisor. Hi, I'm Cass. I'm the appointment coordinator. Happy to help you. Hey, it's Keith Simpson here. I'm the general manager of Norrell Toyota, soon to be Fort McMurray Toyota. Pretty excited for our new dealership. As you've seen, you met all my staff. These guys are all my family. We're here to take care of you. Come on down and be part of our family. And we are back. Big shout out to Noral Toyota, our title sponsor for today's episode. Really do appreciate your ongoing support. As you know, I don't introduce my guests because they can do a better job of that than myself. So can you please tell everybody at home who you are and what you're about? Hi, my name is Jessica Perry. I work at the Fort McMurray Airport. Um, my title is Route Development and Passenger Experience. There we go. All right, so the reason I'm here today is because we have an upcoming flight going on. Where, where is the flight going to in America? Uh, so we have a flight starting next week, November 30th, heading to Tucson, Arizona with Flair Airlines. Okay, have you ever been? I have, yes. Okay, so I've never been before. How many times have you been? I've been once. So okay. I'm, I'm going next week, so next week's my second time. Are you going on the same flight I'm going to be on? I am on Ooh, the same flight. Nice. <laughs> so I've got loads of questions for you then. So you've been there before. Um, I'm flipping a coin right now. I think I'm leaning more to the Airbnb, but are you staying in a hotel? You go in Airbnb, and what hotels have you stayed uh, at before? So I'm staying at the JW Marriott Hotel, okay. which uh, I think quite a number of our guests on the first flight are traveling, um, are going to be staying at the JW Marriott as well. Okay. Um, I believe yourself too. Are you, are you staying at the JW Marriott? I don't know. Marriott? Like I said, flipped a coin. Like no? This is where I'm coming from in regards to, I looked up the hotel and it looks nice. It, it looks beautiful. That being said, how cool would it be to have like your own pool in the backyard? And so like when I was looking at Airbnbs, for anybody who's thinking about getting on this flight in the future, Airbnbs down in uh, Tucson are relatively affordable. And when I say relatively, I mean anywhere between like 120 to 220. You can get like a big house. When I say big, I mean like 200 square feet, give or take, with a pool in the backyard. So I might go with uh, Airbnb. So I don't know. But have you stayed at the hotel before that you're staying at this time? Uh, not this one, no. no. I've stayed at the Hilton Hotel. Yeah. I've stayed at the Westin Hotel, the Citizen, um, and uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so as far as temperature is concerned, nighttime, how cold are we talking? Uh, it's still fairly warm. Like I wore, last time I was down there, it was just a jean jacket, a really light sweater, because it was a little bit of a wind, but yeah. honestly, it's like our, probably our plus tens here. It was okay. not, it was not, not bad really at all. good. Okay. So with Flair, how often are they going to be flying to Tucson? So we have <clears throat> our direct flight starting every Wednesday and Sunday, uh, right up until the end of March. So it's okay. a winter getaway. Okay. $125 nice. each way. So nice. it's a good deal. Yeah. And so with Flair, I know there's a number of different locations that fly out of Fort McMurray as well. So what are those areas, like, are they, is Flair still flying to some other places or is, this is Tucson yeah. number one? So right now we just have our direct flight with Flair to Tucson. So okay. hopefully, fingers crossed, in the future it would be nice. But right, right now, Tucson's Tucson. the way to go. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> so. And so you said all the way till the end of March every Wednesday? Every Wednesday and every Sunday. Oh. So you could do a Wednesday to Wednesday, you could do a Sunday to Sunday, or Wednesday to Sunday. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Because that was the downside to one of the flights before that I went on. Like, it was Vancouver. Like, you flew on, let's pretend it was Wednesday, I know it wasn't. But then you had to wait until that Sunday to come back. So that's right. sweet that you can go Yeah, you can go Wednesday a week or long Sunday. or four days long, however you prefer. Nice. Yeah. So for your upcoming trip, what do you have planned? I got lots of stuff planned, yeah. so I have a full four-day schedule. I don't even know if I'm going to have a lot of time to eat, but I'm ready to see everything. So I have tickets to the Pima Airspace Museum. 
Okay. Um, whereas a bunch of uh, old aircraft you can see. That's right. Check out. Yeah. Uh, I have tickets to the Frankie Valley and Four Seasons concert. They're down there that same weekend. So um, I'm going to the Tombstone, Tombstone movie set, which I think the tickets were about 10 bucks a person. Yeah. Uh, I am also going to, um, where else, Pima Airspace, uh, Tombstone, I think Tombstone's a full day, so that's mm -hmm. why, yeah, yeah, wow. so a couple of things. I looked up that airplane museum, that thing is huge, like they have so many old aircrafts, like, because in my head, I, like, I, I went to an aircraft museum, I want to say in Ontario when I was a child, and it was like in a, a hangar, basically, and so they had some planes, but this thing has a bunch of decommissioned airplanes like just out there that you can like walk and go see and yeah actually in. i'm also going to see a, just uh the biosphere too it's called so What's basically it was a it's a location that they built in case the world was to ever end and a bunch of scientists live there um cool. in the 70s i believe okay to see if they could actually survive in there for about three years i think it was okay uh, and so now it's a place that you could check out and tour so I bought tickets to go check it out and see what it's all about it's yeah is this excited. like underground above ground or is this it's like the movie ground. biodome it's like, a, like a biodome yeah exactly like Pauly Shore biodome <laughs> really yeah what trees and water inside and everything like that yeah oh I so. might have to check that out that's a that's I think the tickets were movie. about 10 bucks each too so it's pretty decent it's yeah pretty that's cheap. the one thing I am finding out as I do my research about Tucson is like the affordability of <laughs> like things that you're gonna do there like from concert tickets museums even some of the food like it's a pretty affordable place yeah actually if you go on the visit Tucson website you'll find a number of things that you can do where you can buy tickets to see things um, yeah. it's a really nice website um, it's beautiful and that's where I booked all my tickets from so yeah. visit Tucson it's a okay. good website all right before we continue with these this conversation we need to throw it to an ad Carrie take it away hi it's Carrie with patchouli rose Come and check out my new retail location at Corridor Shops and Events downtown on Manning Avenue and come check out all the other local vendors. And we're back. Thank you very much, Carrie from Truly Rose. Do appreciate your ongoing support. What was that website that you were talking about? Uh, Visit Tucson. So it's their tourism, uh, the tourism website. Okay. Um, really handy. You can yeah. go on there and see. You can click on what date you're traveling and you'll see all the events that are happening and tickets you, go, you can book to and yeah. things you can see. Okay. There's one thing I really want to do while I'm down there, and like I've actually never done this before. It's kind of a shock. I've never had real Mexican food before. Ah, uh, it's great food down there. Yeah. Yeah, and so like I went on, like I was like, oh, I wonder if there's like some really good, authentic Mexican restaurants in Tucson, and it was just pff, overwhelming where you can go to. So that's the one thing about Tucson where I think most people traveling there would be if you like food. There's like Mexican food, there's pizza, there's burgers, there's high-end restaurants, there's low-end restaurants. Like there's a lot of places to go and eat yeah. in Tucson. And there's also a lot of nice little boutiques and uh, areas that you can shop around if you go downtown and check out. So, I heard that there's a poncho place. For everybody who's making fun of ponchos, I don't know what your deal is. I love ponchos. They're like a good <laughs> blanket. I'm actually going down with like, not a huge suitcase, but like a carry-on. But I'm going down. It's empty for the most part. And I'm bringing back some ponchos and some blankets. So I'm really excited about that. So let's talk about the airport for a while because you've been here for quite a little bit of time. Let's uh, talk yeah, about Yeah, actually, uh, well, working at the airport, I've been yeah. here about eight years. So mm -hmm. I started as a security guard. Uh, then worked at Earl's for a bit mm -hmm. and then worked upstairs here in the office uh, starting at the front desk yeah. and past office commercial and now working closely with uh, Michael Seeger, our vice president of commercial and route development. So. There you go. Yeah. Now, my favorite part about you in this airport, and it makes me smile every <laughs> time I come to this airport, is you are the voice literally of the airport <laughs> how did you get roped in to being okay passengers or like giving the updates on the the speaker system well i just got asked and i have a hard time saying no so i did it and also the uh, reception phone as well so when you call oh, really? the reception phone you'll hear my voice saying press one for Air Canada, two for WestJet. So, uh, but my voice isn't going around anymore. We've changed it recently. Oh so, no! Yeah, we've changed it. We had to 
We had to give it a little bit more of an upbeat, so okay. we have our HR, uh, Sylvie Comtois. It's her voice going around now. Oh, so. well, hopefully yeah. she has equally a beautiful voice, because <laughs> every time I'd fly, like me and Pam and all the rest of the team would come and be like, hey, there's Jess. <laughs> and sometimes we'd like be filming and doing stuff, talking to you as you would come yeah. and interrupt some of the filming. So. I would get calls at midnight sometimes, hey, Jess, I'm in the airport, where are you? Yeah. Uh, I don't live there. That's but right, that's just... right. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Well, listen, Jess, that's the end of the show. They're a little bit shorter when I actually do on location, so easy peasy. But before I cut you loose, everybody gets a shameless shout-out or plug. So you have the mic, the camera, the lights. Have fun. A shameless shout-out? Shameless shout-out or plug. It could be anything. We've had moms. We've had babies. We've had cars. We've had food. It could be anything you want. So who do you a want to shame... shout-out or plug? Ah, shout-out. I'll give a big shout out to my mom, even though I know she's not on social media and is probably not going to see this, but mom, thanks for everything. <laughs> there you go. I love it. Well, thank you very much for uh, being voluntold to do the show today. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> and if you ever want to film again, we'd love to have you back on the show. Thanks, Elliot. Awesome. Well, for McMurray Wood Buffalo, the rest of the world, that's been another episode of the Max City Morning Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Big shout out to our title sponsor, Noral Toyota. We do appreciate your ongoing support as well as Carrie from Patchouli Rose. I hope everybody at home is having a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. What a deadly old way to end another morning show. Later, boss. It's so ballistic! <laughs> Talk about quenching your ugly thirst. Really?